logged down inside my attic, man. Is everything okay? Everything's fine, I guess. Hello there, outpost. Hello, hello. Hello there, uh, weirdo-ass neighbors. There's actually a lot of trees that are missing outside now to where now, uh, when they're on their roof, they can actually very, very easily see me go into my cabin now, so that kind of sucks. Let me, uh, go down here and see if my neighbors are on, though. That was some something special yesterday, though, man. And if you didn't see yesterday's video, pretty much these guys offline raided me. I logged in and I was offline raided and I saw the name of someone who killed me. That person lived here. So, you know, we just bullied them all day because I still had a little bit of loot left inside my cabin. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, do they have more fucking shoddy traps down? Dude, someone had came over here and destroyed this high wall. This high wall used to be, like, further back. I swear if one of you motherfuckers that watches the videos came here and did that shit. Because I don't want any viewers messing with these guys. These guys don't deserve to be annoyed from anyone outside of people that they fuck with and, like, on the server right now. But anyways, man, fuck. I guess it is time to maybe try getting this tier 2 put down in Rome Pump Slug. Yeah, I guess that's what it's time for. Let's do this. And it's turning nighttime, as it does every single time as soon as I get on. Small bit of news, though. I'm, uh... Starting to look into NFTs more. Not really trying to, like... Because, like, there's, like, two different routes when getting into, like, the whole NFT thing I'm learning. And there's, like, the validational side, and there's, like, the investing side. And I, uh... I'm definitely going for more of, like, the investing side. Because buying an NFT is no different than buying, a, like, a super expensive or even cheap piece of clothing in real life. The goal is to have it go up in price, whatever NFT you get, but, um... It's really no different. It's just all just validational shit, and people in the world will eat that shit up, so... Not that it's effortless to invest in and, like, predict out everything, but... It's just more validation for people that people seek, you know? I think that I'm gonna go and drop 60 of this scrap on just low grade right now actually just so we can get a furnace made yeah let's just go do that a furnace made and then we can go outside get wood and then go outside get metal get metal cooking and yeah that'll be that or i could just buy metal with this i mean actually no because we do need a furnace we're gonna need to cook up sulfur to make slugs as well assuming that that actually happens today which i'm guessing it should and boom 140 low grade okay cool nice move scientist get out of my fucking way A fuck ton of grenade launcher shots over the mountain up here. Uh oh. Okay, we only have 230. Oh my god, man, we have like okay, I know we have a little bit of stone. Okay, okay. Uh, let me just take out a hatchet. Boom, and let's go and get some wood. We only have so many trees that are like right here, so yes, let's get them. Yeah, like let's just say that if uh. The dudes over there get on that uh, we were fucking with yesterday and like they get up there roof camping. There's no more trees to hide behind here. Not because of me getting these, like it was already kind of over just because there's already trees gone like we uh, saw as soon as we got on, but now there's like literally gonna be like no trees to hide behind, so. And I just now heard a loud bang underneath me from my neighbor. I don't know if he's mad or like what's happening. Whenever this dude is watching TV though, my god man, I hear that shit through the fucking floor. It is so loud. I mean like the dude should have no surprise though sometimes because sometimes- Okay, rewind back like two, three days, right? I'm waking up like back to back to back days, right? Five o'clock in the morning, probably been asleep for like six-ish hours maybe, maybe five hours. I don't know, I've been having a lot of nights where I'm sleeping. It's like an on-off process. I just wake up at like 5.30 in the morning and he is just blasting music. Like, and, and like, keep in mind, like, when you're laying on your bed, you're fucking head, or like, because I'm a side sleeper, so like, my ear is pointing toward the fucking floor. And his room is right underneath mine. And I just hear that shit just fucking pounding, and like, it's rock music too. So it's like, that shit is fucking, like, the drums are just fucking pounding. And it's like, it's at like 5.30 in the morning, like, like, do people just not give a shit about earbuds? Like, it even sounds better through earbuds, I just, I don't know. It's it, it should seem like common sense, at least at that time. Like, sure, during the day, I'm not going to fucking complain. If I'm going to bed at 2 p.m. and I'm waking up at 4 p.m. to you blasting music, that's like that doesn't matter, right? But like 5.30, like, eh, you know, like that's a normal time to wake up, I guess, but not like super, super common, right? I don't know. Okay, well, now I'm going to go ahead and head on outside and get a little bit of metal and stone. And wait, do I have any sulfur inside here already? No, okay. Let me, uh, yeah, let's go and freaking get a little bit of everything. Some stone, some stol uh, some sulfur, and metal. Starting this off pretty well already. Nice. Got me. 
it. Just because I'm right here at the cabin, I'm just going to bring this metal inside and just start cooking it. Get that shit going, then I'm just going to leave. And all that I really need now is just some sulfur. That's really it. Yeah, don't mind me leaving the base and mining without no weapon on me. I always judge people for doing that. <laughs> We actually have four pipes and two springs for uh, two pumps, which is pretty cool. And we have all the high qual that we're going to need for them. Okay, I'm bailing. Let's just go and uh, just start roaming around, I guess. Let's also reload our uh, water pipe. Yeah, it seems like a good amount of people ended up enjoying yesterday's episode with me fucking with those guys. I was really expecting people to, fe like, to feel bad for them. Which, there's probably some people that felt bad, but... I feel like me being off rated by those guys is enough for me to just fuck with them for one day, you know? That, like, like that session was like two and a half hours. It wasn't even like that long, you know? The question is, how much PvP am I really going to be getting today? Honestly, I don't know, because this server is going to be wiping soon, so... I'm seeing a dead body over. Oh shit. Off these guys. Okay. There's a full metal guy right there. Okay. I'm gonna go to just attempt to just run this way right now. Okay. Just gonna simply attempt to. I'm hearing bolties now over there. Yeah, no thank you. I'm just gonna get out of here. Oh. Okay. Is there, like, a breach over there, like, where that full metal guy was at, and, like, they're raiding that? I think that's what's going on, maybe, actually. Oh, I do. I'm seeing one of the dudes fucking climb up right now. Uh-huh. Still got the clans that are just going ham on here. There's at least, like, three of them there, and then there's, like, a bolty guy in the hills. I'm gonna assume that he's with them. Could be wrong. I don't know. Dude, he's, like, trying to climb up the ladder right here. And, like, he's healing up with bandages right now. Like, he's struggling to actually climb up. He's about to try it again. And my goal is to hit him with an arrow as he climbs up, because that shit is going to be so fucking annoying. Because he's already failed probably, like, more than once with climbing up. Now I'm going to hit him as he's climbing up, and it's going to fucking... Oh, my God. It missed. Oh, my God. Not good. Did he even notice? I oh, know yeah, now he's just running. He's just hiding, dude. Like these guys could just be weirdos. Oh, yep. Now he's dead. I'm pretty sure he just now got murdered. Okay, that's kind of great, right? That's pretty nice. That guy right there has a rocket launcher too. So and I saw one of them up here, up there in the windows. Oh, shit, man, these guys got a car. Okay, well, there's at least... Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, there's a good amount of these guys that are actually here. Oh, yeah, dude, like, they're loading up the rockets right now. Wow, okay, well, front row seat, baby. Okay, we're shooting rockets over the base now. I guess we're trolling. <laughs> okay. Yep, there's a guy that's up there. Right now, they're just incending the roof, which is a good play. It's a good play. Yep, I like it, I like it. Good, good, good. The thing is, I just seem to be poking at these guys, like, just occasionally just hitting them with a, with an arrow and shit, you know? They ended up killing a full metal guy on the outside here, and I don't even think that they even looted the dude. I think that they didn't even loot him. There's at least two of them that are right here, but then I know that there's another dude that's, like, further up in, like, the hills of the Bolty. I know that. You gotta chuck them nades way, way further. And you have the naked guy just walking up. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god, dude, the naked's just going ham on him. <laughs> okay, well, I'm in here. I'm gonna get behind these guys and just start, like, shooting at them from behind. Just, just like, little shots here and there, you know? Nothing crazy. I'm not trying to get killed exactly, but... Yeah, there's that guy that's, like, way, way up there. Okay, I'm fucking walking away, man. Oh my god, they're gonna be getting so fucking pissed at me. I'm just sitting, like, from, like, a... 
from like a distance just shooting at these guys like that. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. Want some bandages? Yo, man, want some bandages? Bandages, dude, I got some. Yeah, sure, man. Thank you. It turned down this fucking. Oh! God, what the fuck is this guy doing? Hey, dude, behind, behind, behind. Oh, hell no. I'm getting inside this fucking bus stop, man. <laughs> that dude really just tried to bait me, though. That is incredible. First part is I stood still right there for a little bit. This is it just like I don't know, like I love doing this to players. Like is like these clans and shit are raiding on a server that is like pretty much dead for a group of their size. Like, I just love to just poke at them like this. <laughs> Dude, I got that guy down to 20 HP. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, dude, who the fuck is this? He doesn't even know about me. Uh, hello? Well, thanks for the L9 and the MP5, my guy, alright? Dude, I'm getting the fucking shivers just because this is just so mysterious and just, like... Dumb. And and again, like, not only is this guy just bringing out this shit with, like, no armor, not only that, but I shoot at him once and he doesn't even real or, like, recognize that he's been, like, getting shot at, you know? Like, there's times where, like, that's, like, the magic of this game, though. I'm pretty sure that for, like, the... I mean, maybe there was, like, a time that I got it, but... Like, I really don't even remember having one of these at all in, like, the past, like, month or two, right? Super, super hard to obtain this gun. Not easy, right? Not the easiest, at least. Like, it's one of the harder guns to obtain. Then, boom, I just get it from a crossy, just like that. Like, nothing. Just effortless from a clueless guy. It's just the magic behind this game. You just, like, can't get your hands just naturally on an L9 for, like, you know, weeks and weeks of grinding on a server. You have, like, all the tier 3 gear in the world, but, like, you just can't get an L9. I just now got one just with a crossy like that, you know? It's just, I don't know. That's why the game is just a magical game. It's just a good game. Like, it's just full of just endless possibilities that you would never expect. And now I'm back home, so let's go ahead and just depot all this shit. Not only did I almost now get murdered out there by someone baiting me to fucking take their cloth, which I did, and then he still didn't kill me. Then he just took out a hatchet and yeah, kind of got smartass with me, if you ask me. All right, not cool, bro. Yeah, like, this server, like, the pop on it is, it's definitely low at this point, just because it's wiping in a couple days, but we'll see if we continue on here tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. I need to have a full-blown plan for tomorrow, and our plan needs to involve not not needing players to fight, because I've recently been kind of in, like, the PvP zone, but if I decide to stay on this server until it actually wipes, which is, like, a couple days, then uh, we're probably going to have to occupy ourselves in some other way. I will hit that type of shit one day. I'm not joking, guys. It will happen one day. Not even looking at anyone, just hearing gunshots in a certain direction, and, and then just going... Boop. Fucking hit, dude. Oh my god. And like if it's a headshot that like that makes it twenty times better. Oh nice. I just now got a email from Patricia in my uh in my text messages. I'll show you the meaning of satisfaction, babe. Take a look on my webcam. Oh boy. Everyone's gonna be mad jelly at me now. I don't know what's up with all these weird ass spam text messages though. I've been starting to get them more recently. Nice. Hey man, I mean, like, I'll take that high qual. More high qual? I dare you, game. I dare you. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Computer, not bad. And. Hey, a python. Cool, nice. Oh shit. Okay, well. Okay, why it only loads in two shells, I'm never going to know. It always does that shit. Let's go ahead and start rowing right now, though. Question is, where do I go? Um, 
I'm going to go out into the snow right now, I think. That's going to be where I go. And if the snow doesn't work out, we can go back over there in that area where those guys were raiding earlier. And uh, we can check out that area and see if there's anyone that's over there. Because I did hear Tommy shots over there, but ideally I don't want to get drawn into a, like a crazy chaotic area. Oh, these ice lake guys are all... Wait. I see someone way over here. Full black outfit aiming something like that's like long looking like a bolty maybe. Oh, wait. You guys see that guy right there? Yep, no, he's running right. He has a wolf headdress, I think. I don't know. I'm literally just running in the middle of fucking ice lake. I'm just running directly at him. I don't see any, like any other option here. Looked like he was like sort of aiming towards satellites. I wonder if he saw someone there. I think that he's going over here to train yard, maybe. Not seeing anything of him yet. Shit. I have no idea. Wait. No, I didn't see anything. Fuck. I don't know where the hell he went, dude. I. Oh, God, dude. It's so annoying when you're just craving action and you just dodge people like this, dude. Like, you see them, you go toward them, and then just nothing. It already happened once at the gas station. Now it's happening again on this shit. Like, how do I not... Okay, that's just a deer. Like, I'm getting jumpy now, and, like, anytime I see anything move, I just think that it's him. Fuck. Those bots are alive. Yeah, there's no chance that he's here. Shit, dude. Well, looks like we only have one option. <clears throat> and what's that one option? Well, I guess go and fight, like, a five-man team somewhere. I'm going to go in the area where those guys were all raiding at before and see if uh, anyone's there. I mean, like, unlike these roams, like, I am running into people and, like, seeing people, but then I go toward them and I just never find them. Like, I'm just never close enough to really commit yet, I feel like, you know? Yep, now I'm already hearing nades right over here at this fucking base that we were fucking with before. I mean, like, I'm down. Let's go. Let's just fucking walk up. Let's just fucking do this and just get something going, you know? Because <laughs> I could just, like, lurk and try and strategize this whole thing out, but I don't know if I'm really feeling that at the moment. I'm seeing people, like, up there in the windows and shit. Don't shoot the nomad. Whoa. Okay, re repeat shoot the nomad. Yes, very good. Did they see me? I don't think so. I know, it's hard to move up on this. But these guys are, like, up on top of the base and shit, so... I don't know, like... See, like, there's, like, this situation that, like, I can fuck with right now, but it's... Eh. Well, you know. Just kind of a shitty situation. I mean, don't, like, worst comes to worst, you die, make another pump and go out. Like, it's really not a big deal, alright? Yeah, like, because I'm still able to make two pumps. Slugs becomes the next concern, though, after we go out with one more. Because slugs are so fucking pricey, dude. There's so many high walls here now. Oh, my God. There's so many more than when, like, we were last here. Because this is the same base where I killed, like, the guy that had the L9 and the MP5 naked. Three of them tip-top, one window floor. Oh, there's actually, I just saw one, like, outside here somewhere. dude over there on the outside now that guy actually has a rocket launcher on the outside who are these guys what is is this really still going on yeah, i'm just gonna go over here and just kill this mp5 guy that's on like the far outside here You have the convenient guy right there on the other side of me. I love it. I love it. GG, well played. 
I really, really, really do not want to fight this, though, because it's going to be a lot of that type of shit that's going on. <clears throat> so I don't really know what the plan should be, because if I roam anywhere else, I'm not going to find shit. And if I'm going to be fighting that, I really don't want to bring Pump Slug, even though it's fine, like, it's okay to fight with, but... <clears throat> I just feel like there's going to be a lot of, obviously, like, obviously, like, I was already getting roof camped right there by the original guys on the base, and then... I try and get behind the fucking pile to heal up and then throw on the new armor, and then I just get fucking SMG'd from the side. Yeah, I just now heard those guys from all the way up here because of how loud my fucking voice is. Like, my voice chat volume. I mean, I might as well just have it all the way up just so I can hear them, I guess. I li dude, like, they're literally just sitting down there inside the caravan. Right, now nah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Hop inside that bitch and fucking murder his ass, imagine. No! That guy knew about me, dude. Damn, I wonder if he's like able to like alt look around in there because his back was to me right there. Okay, I'm gonna go and get another pump slug going right now. Uh, I ended up roaming around with MP5 and nothing ever ended up happening. I just ended up coming back home and depoing it back in here with the road sign set, which yeah, the rest of that inside there. That whole run didn't really go anywhere. Um, just you know, wasted time. Of course, of course. Just probably gonna yeah. I'm definitely gonna be restarting tomorrow. Whether if that's just like a fuck around day on a modded server or a new season, I have no idea. But yeah, I'm not really expecting too too much to happen today. I apologize in advance, but uh, yeah, there's not really too much that's going on on this server right now. I mean, like there is, and like I end up seeing people, but. They just slip away before I can do anything, it seems like, and it's uh, kind of annoying, but I gotta just accept it. <sighs> this right here is gonna be the run, though, okay? This is gonna be the run that we end up fucking seeing some shit, whether if I die or not, cool. It can open up some doors for a revenge situation or something that can, you know, take up, uh, you know, some time, which is what I'm gonna love. The fact that the cabin has yet to get raided, though, man, that's nuts. But yeah, no, to anyone that's into NFTs and, like, pretty, like, involved in that world, feel free to either, you know, shoot me a message in the comments here or Twitter DMs, Discord, anything, really, whatever is, like, most convenient to you. If, like, you feel, uh, feel like spreading any knowledge my way, I would appreciate it. I'm still learning, like, what it is, and, like, I know, like, the general idea of it is. Like, I don't look at, like, what, like, okay, like, I look at skins in video games, nice clothes in real life, like, all these different things that we buy... They're all kind of like an NFT, but an NFT is like something that is like unique to you and you are the original owner of that unique NFT that there is only one of, right? Like there's not duplicates. I don't actually, I don't know. There might be duplicates of NFTs. Like I think that it might depend on which type you're buying, but like it's the same idea as that, you know, it's just people buy skins to feel validated and feel good about themselves. NFTs are the exact same shit. Difference is... It's not a skin in a game, it's more of like profile pictures slash collecting, shit like that, I guess, from my knowledge, so. Which is completely random, like, it's not really like a super predictable thing. You just have to use the knowledge that you have on what, you know, the people in the world averagely will like and what, you know, projects will pop and whatnot. Which I feel like if you're from the video game world, you have like an okay idea. Like if you know what like a lot of people like to rock like skin wise in games and shit like that. Like you have a general idea and just who general and just a general idea on like who people are just in like our current world and culture. You uh can kind of just gain like an idea. And now we got a SAR over here. Okay, okay. That's what I like to hear. I just need to start ranting more as I'm fucking roaming because it just makes time fly and then I just end up hearing shit like that. Yeah, and you know, like some people call it like digital real estate, like like there's even been like talks and like this has already existed for like over a year. It's probably nothing new to a lot of people that have already been involved in that, but a lot of people buy shoes and just collect them and never use them, right? What if you could just buy shoes virtually, have them inside of a wallet online that people can publicly view and like that's your shoe collection? People might think that, like that's stupid because it's not physically there with you, but 
the world's moving way like like way way more and more toward digital living. Like that's just what it is, and it's just how the times are. <gasps> Bucking helmet guy right here. Then he has a hazy guy that's behind him. Okay, okay, okay. I'm in here. Fuck, man, they're, like, running this way. Is this their base? This looks... Is this my design? Oh, dude, this might be my design, man. I'm gonna have to murder people that are in my design. It is their base, too, and I don't want a door camp, man, but it's, like, there's just not much to really work with on this server this second. Maybe it's not my design, actually. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, this is not my design. Never mind. False alarm, not my design. I'm just going to start just mumbling in game over here, okay, guys? To try and bait them out. Hey, man, you you over there. Come on. Let them fucking come out right now, man. Let the mumbles bait them out. And now we're just shooting in our base for no reason. I was worried that he just now shot at me because I'm posing as a naked right now, so that would have fucked me if he, like, headshot me or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to just run past their base, I guess, right now. Listen, okay, I gotta reload right now, alright? Jesus, fuck. What the f- Don't tell me that I'm about to fucking go deep on these guys, please. This guy just now dropped, like, some sort of pistol, I thought. I don't know. Like a part of me kind of feels like going in here, another part of me is like, eh, don't. Yeah, no, okay. Um... Drop all these meds, take all this. I don't know, I just need to get out of here before I'm fucking, like, stuck. And none of these guys have outside bags, okay. <clears throat> so I got one. I'm still missing a SAR from over here. Let me just keep on searching. Right there, there we go. Okay, now I'm good. I'm also still missing a pistol. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's a fucking Yoka, okay. You really hit me with a Yoka rush. Yeah, those guys seem a little bit inexperienced, and, uh, I mean, I don't want to just have to kill these guys, but, like, what do you want me to do, okay? <laughs> I mean, like, that one time, like, doesn't mean anything, like, yes, kill them, of course, but, like, it's very, very tempting to just come back and just kill these guys. Even though I don't want to, it's only because I'm limited on what I can do right now. That's the problem. Because I'm roaming a lot and I'm not really finding too much, so why, like, why would I roam if I just have a situation, uh, excuse me, that like that that I can just go back to? Man, like back to like the whole NFT thing, man. Like I feel like it's something that like needs to be discussed. Of course, there's people that aren't interested in it and just call it bullshit, which is 100% fine. I get it. I hear you completely. You know, <clears throat> because at the end of the day, who knows? Who knows what it is going to be, right? But a really really big thing right now and a lot of people are making and losing a lot of money on it it's just it's digital property like 
I think that another word for it is intellectual property, which is just IP it's called. I don't know. I'm still learning all these different terms and stuff, but yeah, I've just been trying to just learn more and more about it. And, like, I feel like I've got the general idea of the whole thing down, um, sort of, but I still have to do so much learning about, like, blockchain and shit like that. That's, like, I don't even know that. I mean, it's probably not as complicated as I'm thinking, because I thought that like nfts were complicated just because of the fucking meaning of it non-fungible token like what the fuck does that mean like it's just like pictures and whatever right like i don't understand so i recommend i don't know at least do like i don't know try and do like a few hours of research to at least kind of like learn what it is before you judge it and just you know think of it like that like people with like verification marks on youtube and twitter and shit people like people want that type of shit so fucking bad just because it'll make them feel all good about themselves and the thing is that most of you guys don't know is, like, once you get it, because I have a check mark and, like, it literally means, like, nothing to me. <laughs> but there's other people that look at that shit, like, is, like, some trophy, right? And that's exactly what NFTs kind of are. The difference is about a check mark and shit on Twitter and YouTube is that anyone can kind of obtain it if they put it enough time in, and then, like, things sort of fall into, like, their favor, right? But the thing is, again, about uh, a lot of NFTs, a lot of them are one-of-a-kind things that only you have access to and actually own as, like, you, right? So, I don't know. I feel like it's an interesting thing to really think about and talk about, so I just thought that I'd just have a small discussion about it in one of my videos. Just so, again, documentation. I can come back to this video in 20 years and show my kids, yeah, you know the NFTs that you guys rock? Which there's probably going to be, like, a new name for it by then and shit. If it sticks around, of course. <laughs> then I can show them me maybe talking about it a little bit in a video. It's important stuff, guys, okay? Oh, there's all the cloth that I'm probably going to need. I almost, I don't know, like, I don't know if I do feel bad for those guys. Because they are hopeless. I'm open to say that. I'm not proud of myself for killing them, okay? I'm really, really not. Like, <laughs> if I'm proud of myself for that, then there's something wrong with me, okay? and put down this box up here. It's so cute in the attic, man. Fuck, I love this place. Like, I see them just shooting on top of this rock over here. Oh, God. Like, I should just be, like, talking in game and shit. And just see if, like, they start responding. God, man. Oh, God, man. Oh, God, man. Where is the bucket helmet guy at, dude? I don't even know if this is even my guys. Oh, I know, dude. I'm hearing them in here. I'm hearing one of them in here, at least. The hell? Wait, do you guys live in there or something? Or, like, what is this? Hey, bro. Hey, man, what's up, dude? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't shoot right there. Just heal up, Dylan. Play it slow. Play it slow, alright? Fuck you, bro. No, oh, freaking shut up, bro. God. Oh my god, this guy also had a Tommy? What the fuck? Oh my god, man. They're just gonna keep on just coming back over and over. Wait, I didn't even get the first Tommy. Oh yeah, no, wait. I didn't just now pick this up? the hell are you doing, Dylan? Yeah, these guys are getting competitive. Listen, okay, guys, now they said fuck you, okay? They started getting toxic. I never got toxic, okay? Now, since they got toxic and said fuck you and not GG, now that gives me a reason to fuck with them. I'm sorry. Now I actually have a technical reason here. <laughs> oh, man, this trio. What's my ping on here? 132. All right, Walmart Wi-Fi connection. Not bad, not bad. Walmart parking lot, Taco Bell parking lot, somewhere around there. Nothing that's, like, in, like incredibly awful. You know, like, we're not on dial-up connection quite yet. We're not, right, yeah, I mean, like, we're not near that. I actually remember growing up at, like, a young age and going to my granny's place, like, up in the mountains. 
And uh, it was during, like, I don't even know if it was during, like, the super early stages of the internet, but, like, up there in the mountains, like, they, like, they didn't have good internet yet. And they had something called dial-up, and I'm sure the people that are older know what that is. And uh, so I lived with a little bit of that. I learned what that is. Oh, my God, no. He has a gun. Uh. Oh, God. Uh. My mom has chicken tenders marinating right now. That's nice. Good old mama bear. I don't know, like, once, like, you grow up and, like, move out of, like, your parents' place, like, even though, like, I'm on, uh, or at least I try to be on, like, a healthier eating path, which means that, you know, a lot of the meat and shit that my mom would cook with isn't really something that I would buy today. Just because I'm gratefully able not to. Stores are, they have healthier shit now. And financially, I'm just able to do that, which I'm grateful for, but it's hard to pass up mom's cooking. It's just hard to do it. You're, like, mom's cooking is just, it's an unmatched nostalgia. It reminds me of the days that I was trick-shotting on MW2 growing up as a teenager, right? Like, it was, like, I was having those meals during that whole fucking nostalgic phase that I look back on, you know? So, like, it's all just, ah, dude. Anyways, I think that I'm gonna go back home and get off right now. Sorry that there wasn't, like, a fuck ton of shit that happened today. Tomorrow I'm probably just gonna end up restarting on a new server or something. Because if I continue playing on this one, I mean, who knows? Shit could fucking, you know, go well tomorrow, maybe. I have no idea. We could hit it or, like, find a situation on here. As there's, like, 30 people on it as it's wiping the next day. And we could land on a fucking crazy situation and get lucky. Who knows, right? But I think that I'm just gonna get a new start tomorrow. Start fresh. Um... We used Pump Slug a little bit today, not a fuck ton, but, you know, we had a little bit of moments with it, I guess. Nothing fucking crazy, but I'm happy that we finally had, like, a bit of a day like this where we had Pump Slug. Because that's one of the main things about rocking the cabin during a wipe is rocking this gun right here with slugs involved, right? It's, like, one of the main things that comes with this whole cabin lifestyle. So I'm happy that we got this in on last day. Uh... Even though there wasn't too much that happened today, I'm happy with what I got, okay? I can't complain. I gotta be grateful for the bit of stuff that I was actually able to get, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna go back home, log out inside my attic. Who knows, we might get back on here tomorrow if the pop's looking good. I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna think that it is, just because it's one day from wipe then at that point for this server. So, have a good day slash night or whatever time it is for you. And if you ended up making it here to the end of this video, comment NFT. Just because it's kind of like one of the only things that's on my mind right now. Just because I've just been loving doing the research over it. And again, feel free to drop some uh, NFT knowledge in the comments for those that might be interested, including myself. Uh, thank you in return. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time, my friend. Uh, yeah, bye. See you.